Hello everybody, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I also would like to apologise for the background noise. I do have a fan going. It is so hot here that I'm dripping. So I've had to put the fan on. Um, so I hope it's not too noisy. I won't know how noisy it is until I listen to the video again. Anyway, to make this card I have borrowed my sister's stamp set, as I don't have this. She actually let me use this to make the male family cards. I put it on the shelf and forgot about it, so I never made one. So I've now, now got to use it. So out of this we're going to use the fish, the hat and the bag. Out of the dies we're using the fish, the bag, the hat plus the reeds. These, this one. Uh, which I've already all cut out already. I've also cut out the die from Everything is day rosy, just to give us a bit of, so it looks like we're on the bank here. Yeah, a bit of greenery across the bottom. And I think it looks all right, like that. Card stock we've got. A piece of card for our stamping. A crumb cake piece of card of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth and folded in half. A piece of Sahara sand. This starts off at three and a half by five but we will be ripping it and distressing the edges. And then a piece of soft suede and this is three by four and a half. That's just to add some colour to the background. The stamp sets we're using obviously is Best Catch. The sentiment has come from Postcard Pals and hope this day is filled with fun and a lot of happy surprises. Because for most men, it's a happy surprise when he catches a fish. Right, for one background, the background we have on, I don't know if you can see it, the actual card base, I used the birch. And then on the Sahara sand piece, I used crackle paint. Right, but before we do any of the backgrounds, we're going to stamp our fish and bag and do our sentiment. I've already cut the sentiment shapes out. They came from, was it this set? They came from banded around or banded about a new um, die set I got. Banded about. Uh, dies. Detailed bands. So that's where this sentiment come from. Uh, not sentiment, the shape came from these so I cut one out in Sahara sand and one out in chocolate chip because I had no soft suede left but no scraps and I wasn't going to cut a um, full sheet just for a little bit I'm very frugal like that so Let's do our stamping. Right, in black we are going to stamp the fish. We need that to cover it in. Clean that off because I don't think my sister would be too happy if I don't clean her stamps. 
and then in crumb cake oh no I did the hat in black and then in crumb cake I did the bag Yeah, that's right, I did do it in crumb cake. And then in soft suede, I did the sentiment. upside down but that doesn't matter alright so that is our stamping done we'll colour them in in a minute take all them away right I'm going to remove this because it's going to make a mess so, first our birch stamp, this is what I do when I'm not filming, I st stick that down and with crumb cake I ink it up. And I lay the card on it. Now the card is bigger than the stamp, so what I'm going to do is ink up the side again, and any bits that I've missed that haven't got any. Oh, there's only that one bit. Oh, let's go on there's another bit there. Just, that's it. So all I want really is the outside uh, stamped up on that. So that's that one done. So you don't need to use blocks when you've got a glass mat for the big stamps. And then we'll get our crackle paint. Crack yeah, crackle paint, it's called. And our soft suede. Ink that up. And pop our Sahara sand down on it and rub it all over. That looks good. And then, yeah. I think I'm going to have to wash the cloth. When I finish filming. And pop that away. Right. With our Sahara sand bit. And our scissors. What I'm going to do is distress the edges. Just go all the way around 
and distress. We're going to rip it as well, so. And then we're going to rip. bits of it off. Oof, I didn't mean a great big chunk like that, but that's all right. Right, that'll do. Let me make sure. Off a bit. Yeah, that's fine. Right. Next, we get some soft suede. I'll put some down on my mat. And with my brush, I'm just going round. The edges with it. And I've got a cup of tea and it's sloshing. distress mess. So next it's a wet wipe. And a bit of glue there. Not no more. Wipe all the mess up. So I'm quite happy with all that. Now bring my pad back up. And we're going to do some colouring. So we want these and we want these reeds. Because we're going to colour in. So right. This is Cajun Crows, yeah. And what I did with this, I just coloured in the heads of these, there is a name for them, but I forgot what it is. Flower things. I know they're not flowers. Reeds. Same pen, look at that, different colours on different colour cards. So that's that little job done. Then we got Old Olive Light. And all I did was strokes around the edges. And then just run strokes up the cardstock. So it looks like that. Just to give it a bit of texture, really. And do the same on this one. I think this one was cut a bit short. I 
but that's all right because that will go on the card like that. You can't see it. that's them done. Right, the basket I coloured in in crumb cake. And I use dark crumb cake on the edging. Easier with a smaller end. And I also used it on the pocket. I'm not doing this very well. That's it. Do a lighter bit with the leather. Yeah. And then the buckle I did in light, smoky slate. So that's that. The hat, or this hat, I coloured in smoky slate. And then I used a bit of old olive on the darker bits. Right, so that's that. Now for what's that old olive? the fish. Oh no, I need crumb cake out for the fish. I used light soft sea foam, light pool party and crumb cake. Right, the light pool party, I did all these bubbles. And there is a few of them on his back. I also coloured in 
this part of his body. And I did the shaded part of his fins in pool party. And the shaded part of his body here. Right, the rest of this part I did in soft sea foam. I do hope that fan is not annoying you. Not having a clue what colour fishes are. Don't take much notice of them. And I think the one I used had a touch of rich raspberry I put on his not a lot, just a hint on his belly. So that's our fish. So there's the fi oh he hasn't got rich raspberry on. Let's put some on his belly. There we are. So there's my fish cut out. There's my hat cut out. There's my basket cut out. And that was it. I'll cut them out later and keep them. So I've got to hand me and the stamp set back to me sister until I get mine. It's on my list but it's not the top of my list. So let's put this card together. Oh, first of all let's do this. Like this I cut in half. And with this I glued just the edge and pop that in like that just to give it a little border rubber out and see if I can get that marker. Must have missed stamped as I call it. Must have had ink on the edge of my stamp. There we are, gone. So let's get Putting this together. So, 
with our um, soft suede piece. We just glue that at an angle in the middle of the card, and then our um, ripped piece of Sahara sand. We're gonna just put that down like that. Now, this piece will need trimming, but I want it to come to the bottom of the card because that is the bank the fisherman will stand on. But first, we'll add these reeds. So, oh no, we do it this way. And that will go on dimensionals behind, and that will go on dimensionals up there. And that will go on the bottom, yeah. So, let's some glue on these and pop some glue on this And we chop it up. So now we need dimensionals. these ones. Right, what I did, I stamped that, glued that, oh, dimensional, or did I glue it? No, dimensional. But I did glue the hat onto the corner. So. And then we'll stick three-dimensional, so one up there, one there, and one there. And that will go there. The fish Now when you cut this fish out, his fin, the one on his body, is actually lifts up. So if you're putting dimensionals on, try not to cut his fin. Alright, he is going there. And then we want some on here. So, I've had that flower in there for ages. 
Right, let's stick this on to see if it's nearest me. And let's stick that up there. Play the fish. I should do the inside off camera, just stamp a happy birthday inside. Sorry about that. Right, that is it. I hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe. If you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.